you have to put yourself first. So I know we might have all heard that many times before. Put yourself first, put yourself first. But are you putting yourself first? I know for me, when I first got introduced to the concept, I thought it was being selfish. You know, but putting yourself first is really self-love. Think of an airplane. They tell, they say when the mask, when if, if everything's going crazy and the mask comes down to put on your mask first before you can help the other person because if you can't help yourself, how are you going to help that child or that person next to you? So think of that when it comes to putting yourself first. Putting yourself first, like I said, isn't selfish. It's actually self-love because when you put yourself first, you're actually able to help many other people. One of the things I'm realizing as I get older is people come and go in your life. It's like a revolving door. You might have some people that are with you forever for, for a lifetime and then you might have some people that are just there for a season. You know, they come in your life for a couple of weeks, couple of months, and then they're gone. So throughout all of this, what I realized is people come and go, but I have me forever. I'm not going anywhere. You know, the only thing is I'm changing, I'm evolving, I'm realizing new things about myself. How about you? Like, you, you know, you're learning new things about yourself, but you can't walk out of your life, right? You can't. You're the only person that's going to be with you until the very end. And that's why it's so important to put yourself first, to love yourself, to um, give yourself grace. Even when you're learning new things or even when you're making mistakes, how are you talking to yourself? How are you showing yourself that you are valuable? Those things are all important because once again, you just have yourself ultimately at the end of the day. When you go to sleep at night, it's really you, you, that one-on-one -on -one connection. I was listening to Tony Robbins and one of the things he said is the most two important times is the present and the future. Think about that. The most important times is the present, which we have right now, and the future, where we're going. So we can't dwell on the past. And the past is literally, I'm not saying the past five years ago, even the past five months ago, or even the last week, even the last 10 minutes, that's in the past. So a lot of times we're carrying, I know I am, carrying what happened just a moment ago, and we have to let that go and embrace the amazing present, the present time. What are we doing with this amazing present moment? Because that ultimately determines our future. So have you been carrying the past around lately? We have to let that go and literally dwell on the amazing present and the amazing future we're about to have. Get it? When you put yourself first, there's no excuses to when something doesn't happen. You cannot blame anyone else. You can't even blame yourself. You can look at yourself and be like, you know what? Let me try this differently next time. But when you put yourself first, you're taking initiative of your life. You're saying, you know what? This is what I want to go after. This is what I want to accomplish. These are the type of people I want to hang around. When you have that authority and when you have that control, it's amazing because you, you can't put the blame on no one else, but also you can't let anybody else control your life. Nobody. You know what I mean? Because you're in control. You know, you're creating your best life. And yes, it might sound overwhelming, like, wow, I have all this control. But no, it's a great thing because you create your best life. No one else can do that for you. And that's what I realized as a speaker, even as an artist, my music, acting, whatever have you, even moving to L.A., I did that. You know, yes, I had amazing people, family, friends, mentors pour into me, still pour into me. But ultimately, if Aaron Wilson didn't make that decision to do any of those things, I would not be here. I had to sit down and say, this is what I want and this is what I'm going to go after. And then everything starts to come in. Yes, there were prayers. Yes, there were tears. But once I decided what I want, the universe, everything worked for me. 
You know, and that's what I really want you all to understand is that things are working for your good. You know, you have the power to create the life you want if only you are brave enough to ask for it and then go for it. Two things, ask for it, then go for it. Simple as that. Now, are there gonna be roadblocks in the way? Is it gonna be totally easy all the time? Absolutely not. But I'm telling you here today, from someone that used to be insecure, stayed in their bubble, did not step out of their comfort zone, did not believe in themselves, I am now living and creating my best life possible. And that's why I'm on here sharing this. This is why I'm doing these videos for you guys because why would I create this amazing life and keep it to myself? I wanna share it with you because I wanna help you create that amazing life. This is why I do what I do, you know? And even, even before I was getting paid for it, I did this because I love not only myself, but I love you guys too. And I know that when you put your energy and you put your effort into making the world a better place, that's what actually changes the world. It's not these big th phenomenons like they say, it's not change yourself and you can change the world. Change that person, your neighbor, or not even change, but inspire your neighbor. Talk to your neighbor, talk to the people around you, gather with the people around you. How can you build together? How can you build across? Issa Rae says, instead of trying to, I don't, I'm paraphrasing right now, but instead of trying to reach out to someone that's on 10 levels ahead of you, why not build across to that person that's just hungry as you? Put you first. Yes, you. You. <laughs> Put you first. Say it with me right now. All right. I am going to put me first. Say me, say me, me first. Yes, you're going to put you first. It's so important. Remember, it's not selfish, it's self-love. And when you put you first, not only are you able to start creating the most amazing life possible, but you're going to change the world as well. Talk to you next time.